How's it going? I'm Adam Wallace, the club pro for the Defunct Games Golf Club. For the last two years, I've taken people on a journey through the history of golf video games. I've been doing this for two big reasons. First is that real golf is pricey. Hundreds of bucks in green fees and hundreds more for a set of Callaways that'll probably get chucked in the woods after a bad shot are far less appealing to most people than just about 50 bucks for a video game. The second reason is that, unlike with other sports, developers can go crazy with their ideas, whether with the course designs or the mechanics. Playing through golf games from the seconds of the sixth console generations, I was amazed at how different they could be. The most adventurous football games got was the crazy violence in Mutant League. Round 3 is about to begin, where, once again, I'll review 18 golf games on 18 different consoles. However, before that, I want to get everyone up to speed. I looked through the 36 games I had previously covered and picked the 5 best and 5 worst I had reviewed thus far. Let's start with the 5 that hooked into the lake and kept hooking. Here are the 5 worst. Number 5. Bandai Golf Challenge Pebble Beach for the NES I give Bandai credit for making one of the first attempts to recreate a real course in every detail, but that's the best I could say about it. The visuals are poor, the options are anemic, and the mechanics are awful. With so many better games that feature Pebble Beach to choose from, this one can be safely skipped. Number 4. Why Lie Country Club True Golf Classics for the Nintendo 64 There's no excuse for a 5th gen game to have only one course, even on the Nintendo 64. Why Lie Country Club looks decent, but it's a nightmare to play. The mechanics are actually deceptive, making every game an endless crapshoot. T and E Soft are much better than this, and Nintendo should be ashamed of themselves for trying to sell this to golf-starved N64 owners. Number three, Jack Nicklaus Turbo Golf for the Turbo Graphics 16. While this 16-bit entry was ambitious for the time, it was a chore to play. The lay is a pain to read, the interface is a cluttered mess, and the gauges are a headache to decipher. Worst of all, due to constant long pauses to render the view, the game is painfully slow. How can a game with the word TURBO in the title drag this much? At least that hue card is easy to throw into the nearest dumpster. Number 2. Pro 18 World Tour Golf for the PlayStation While Psygnosis definitely knew how to make a pretty golf game, they sure as hell didn't know how to make a playable golf game. With awful camera angles and no guides for aiming at all, not even a course map, this is one of those games where even the pros will be abusing the mulligans. Of course they'll be doing that anyway due to the broken 3-click mechanics. The graphics may be pretty, but the gameplay couldn't get much uglier. And number 1. Lynx, the challenge of golf for the Sega CD. Everything Turbo Golf did wrong, Lynx on the Sega CD did worse. The interface is a pigsty. The swing meter works like crap. There's only one course on the CD which is inexcusable, and the FMV that's hogging all the space on the disc is so grainy that it induces headaches. Add in the atrocious load times every time you so much as adjust your aim one degree, and you have the nightmare that detractors of the genre think all golf games are like. How sad is it that the only positive point I can think of is that it can be played with the Genesis mouse? Fortunately, games that terrible are the exception, not the rule. Most of the games I played range from average to good with some truly great ones. Here are the ones that scored double eagles without breaking a sweat. These are the five best I covered so far. Number 5. PJ Tour Golf 3 for the Genesis I put this one at number 5 only because the PGA Tour games got absolutely fantastic later on. However, I can't deny that the last one to be exclusive to the Genesis is the best golf game from the fourth console generation. With 8 courses, which is unheard of for the time, plenty of PGA pros, and easy to grasp gameplay, this is the best pro golf game I'd covered to this point. Number 4. Awesome Golf for the Lynx Portable Golf has been very hit or miss around here, but leave it to the largely ignored Atari Lynx to get it right. Awesome Golf looks fantastic even now and makes creative use of visuals to avoid walls of text on the portable screen. Even the pictographs showing the results of each shot are amusing. Add in the simple gameplay and we have the best portable golf game I've reviewed. Number 3. Ninja Golf for the Atari 7800 I know this is not a traditional golf game in any way, but I had way too much fun with Ninja Golf to ignore it. Yes, whacking the golf ball toward a hole is little more than an excuse to run right and beat the crap out of ninjas and wildlife, but that lunacy is what makes it awesome. You even end each hole with throwing shuriken down a dragon's throat. Kick ass! Number 2. 
Mario Golf Toadstool Tour for the GameCube. This is one of the most creative traditional golf games out there. This entry in the Mario Golf series makes creative use of the Mario series with warp pipe shortcuts, fire motes, and more all over the courses. This also has the most refined three-click mechanics I've seen until the Hot Shots golf games on the PlayStation 3. This is the best family-friendly golf game I've played. And number one, Outlaw Golf 2 for the Xbox. Not only is this one my favorite golf game of all time, but it's also one of my favorite games, period. With creative courses that are a blast to play, vulgar stereotypes that are funny rather than offensive, analog swing mechanics that are near perfect, great commentary from the always hilarious Dave Attell, and one of the best career modes of any golf game, this is easily the best retro golf game I ever played. If you like golf and can handle some raunchy humor, check this one out now. Hey, thanks for watching our best and worst list. And thanks to Adam for taking a break from his written reviews to contribute to the video. Now, here's the question I have for you. What's your favorite golf game? Or if you want to go the other way, what's your least favorite golf game? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. In related news, the defunct games Golf Club Round 3 officially launches today. That's right, if you head on over to defunctgames.com, you'll find Adam's review of Miniature Golf for the Atari 2600. You'll have a new retro review every Friday right up to September 7th. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the Defunct Games Golf Club archive in the description box, just in case you want to read any of the past 36 reviews. They're a lot of fun. We'll be back next week with reviews, endings, and more. I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.